Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another home video tour. Today we're touring this floor plan right in front of me, which is the Luca Plan 2. This is 2,488 square feet. We have uh, three bedrooms, optional fourth bedroom, three and a half bathrooms, flex space, loft, covered patio, 22 feet deep uh, car garage here with a two car garage. And then uh, optional, you can make it 24 feet. Now this house is a Woodside home. It is, um, it is offered at the newest community that they have right now, which is called Serenata in, um, in Cadence. Cadence is a master plan community over Henderson. We had a lot of new construction uh, sites out here with over 16,000 homes available in this master plan community. HOAs are $50 a month, no SIDS, no LIDs, no extra fees or anything. This seems to be a pretty good deal out here because this house starts at $468,000 with 2,500 square feet of home. Now, what I like about this one is that it has not only a bedroom downstairs, but it also has a flex space. For the size of the house, that seems pretty good. In addition to that, we do have this uh, side entrance. And on the second floor, we have two full bedrooms, very spacious uh, rooms, by the way. And as you can see here, there's all the information. But a nice open floor plan. Spacious living room, dining room, and kitchen over there with this extra flex room on the side. So this is perfect if you have kids and they want to stay on this side while the adults stay over here and chat in the living room. Then it's kind of cool. It's a unique floor plan because you don't see these floor plans that often, right? And behind the kitchen, you can go up to the second floor, which is nice. And then this one on the side has that extra opening right there to the bedroom downstairs. I feel like that's a cool feature to have. Not only a bedroom downstairs, but also a flex room. This could be also an office, a gym, whatever you want to do, or just an, an extra flex room for the kids. See homework nook like they made it here. You're going to have also over here the powder room. Now, it's not finished yet because this community just opened, but you have obviously your sink right here. It comes with a pencil sink, by the way. And by the way, hit that like button, guys. It really helps the channel to push that uh, this video out to people that might be interested in buying a home or, uh, you know, maybe uh, someone that might that has some family that is interested. Hello. As we go in here uh, to the downstairs bedroom, we'll see a nice spacious one. This is about 12, not 11 by 12. We have nine foot ceilings on both floors. A lot of options are included. We're gonna go through that once we get into the into the uh, into the kitchen. We'll go over some options that are included, as well as what you get for the price. And I gotta tell you, Woodside Homes really does a good job with that because you get a lot of options included. Beautiful uh, bathroom down here. Now, what's included here in this bathroom? You get a sink just like this one. It'll have a white quartz. It's gonna be a sand white. Uh, quartz and then you have cabinets underneath it comes with a birch cabinet so it's similar actually the same style it's just that it's wood grain so real wood cabinets included and then you get a fiberglass enclosure right here in this bathroom downstairs with obviously uh, you know if you want to do the walk-in shower and the tile that's going to cost you three to four grand extra downstairs sliding door closet good size closet as well it's a queen size bed and it fits very well in here with the dresser as well Oh, this is cool it's it's so nice but this is what you get when you get a side entrance because when you have the side entrance this allows to for all the space to be used up efficiently as a den right here versus doing a nice a big hallway in the middle of the house that you know kind of wastes all that room and you have the front entrance as well over here we have a nice open floor plan this one is uh has the upgraded cabinets as the second layer of cabinets going all the way to the ceiling that's an upgrade it'll cost you three or four grand to do that but the included ones it comes with a 36 inch cabinet which will be this and then you'll get uh, ge uh, microwave included unless you want to sub it out for the gourmet kitchen with the canopy hood you can do that and then it'll come with a cooktop as well here this is the pushing uh, GE stove, which is also an option, but it will be an upgrade unless you want to do the built-in cooktop, which is really nice as well. And as you can see here, the island is a good size. It's about seven feet wide. You get four seats over there. Oh, they're a little bit tight, these four seats, but it's a nice 
size. And then you have those extra two spots right there around it next to the refrigerator. You can put your coffee and all that good stuff. Over to the left, we have in here the walk-in pantry. And it's a spacious one because you also have some storage underneath the stairs. But plenty of shelf space for your, all your goodies. Refrigerator GE is not included. Now let's talk about the included options. Remember when I talked about that white quartz included? They have a white quartz included, which is nice. Another cool thing here, uh, they have an 18 by 18 tile included, just in the wet area still. There's gonna be kitchen, bathrooms, and laundry room. Everywhere else is gonna have carpet, that's included. Now the structural parts, nine foot ceilings on both floors included. This sliding door right here included. Um, also, you'll get a three and a half inch baseboard. This is a four and a half, so it's a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, when it comes to also the insulation in this house is what really sort of stroked me because what they do have here is a different insulation than, all the, than what all the other builders do, which is a sprayed foam insulation on the, in the attic, which means the attic is also insulated. And that makes a big difference with the energy efficiency. But not only that, when you have an attic that is insulated, your AC, uh, your HVAC system works a lot less hard to cool down and warm up in the winter, which makes your energy bill cheaper. And it's a way, be a way better way to insulate a house because if you look at their attics, what they have right now, all the other builders you get all that heat at 150 degrees inside your attic and it traps the heat it's just not good so what they have to do is they have to put in these vents on the side on other construction homes not these ones you see these are all sealed so the attic is sealed you don't get dust in the house in the in the attic and it's just a way better built in my opinion but let me know what you guys think down in the comments now this backyard is about 20 to 22 feet they have a few options with a little bit bigger backyards the lots vary between zero dollars up to you know five ten thousand depending on the lot you do get an option for a balcony out here a balcony is not included but it comes with a covered patio and then at 467 this is going to be difficult to beat i'll tell you that so 467 how much is it going to cost out the door i'll tell you one thing if you want it's not going to cost much more out, uh, extra because you can go with a dirt lot or something you know that's just been started so it'll be you know for 467 468 plus let's say 20 grand in upgrades maybe you can easily get a really nice house here with 20 grand in upgrades because all the included options are really nice you know maybe put on the stair rails or uh, add some extra things like you know some cabinet hardware or you know recess lights ceiling fans stuff like that right you can spend 20 grand on all of that or maybe you want a specific shower or something that's cool or you want the balcony that would be great um if you start upgrading everything it could cost quite a bit i mean they a home that was pretty much similar to this model home is going to cost you around 60 grand in upgrades with all the flooring done and everything the 20 grand that i told you earlier is not going to be with the flooring but yeah so this one, uh, you know, the 60 grand is gonna show you pretty much a model home. And uh, that will bring you to $540,000 out the door price for this house. Let me know what you guys think for this home. Now, the bedrooms are spacious. Look at that. This one is 12 by 13. Uh, yeah, 12 by 12, I would say, yeah. Maybe 11 by 12, I'm not sure, but yeah. Pretty good size room. Nine foot ceilings really helps. Then all these uh, homes, oh, look at this, by the way. You might be able to get some nice mountain views as well here in Cadence, depending on where you are, or even strip views. And look at this, uh, this uh, walk-in closet for this bedroom. It's really nice. Also, you'll get the pre-wire in each room included. This one is the loft. Now, if you want, what you can do is you can turn this loft into a fourth bedroom. So it comes with three bedrooms and a loft, but you can turn this into a fourth bedroom because you still have that flex room downstairs, don't forget. And obviously this would be the closet for that fourth bedroom. And you have access to the balcony from this bedroom as well. And it's a nice balcony. So if you get some nice views, strip views, if you get a right lot for you, you might be able to get some nice strip views, mountain views, 
you have the options out here. So really interesting lot. As a matter of fact, these are uh, some of the lots that they have available right here where they're going to build. And uh, they have some over on Water Street that they have ready to go that you can move into it within a month, which is really nice. Now, 540 is their asking price, but obviously the price is, uh, well, not obviously because it's not obvious that it's negotiable, but there, there might be some room. Obviously, you reach out to your agent to figure out what the best deal you can get on this one. As you can see here, the laundry room it doesn't come with any of this. It comes with just a shelf and then no washer, no dryer or anything. Then you can add all of these. This is going to cost you, this whole laundry room costs around 8 to 10 grand to do it like this. Keep that in mind. This would be the shared bathroom for this bedroom that we had over here. And if you add the loft as a bedroom, but this would be it. And you have obviously fiberglass tub and shower combo included. You can upgrade all of this stuff, make it look pretty like this one. And then this one has the tile all the way up to the ceiling, which is an upgrade. Now we go back here and we see the primary bedroom. Now this is spacious. We're looking at I would say at least 20 feet between here, this wall, to there. You also have some extra room right here for a dresser. So it's even more, probably around 22 feet from that corner to that corner. On this wall, we have instead probably another 15 feet or so. Three windows in the, in the primary, so that's nice. Looking over the backyard. And then obviously in the backyard, I don't know if I mentioned it downstairs, but it just comes with dirt. Anything underneath the covered patio is going to have pavers. But yeah, this primary is huge. And you do get the two sinks separated by this door that leads you to the walk-in closet that is spacious. And then you can see here, tub and shower separate. It comes with the fiberglass enclosure option. Um, and uh and you can upgrade to something like this this setup is going to cost you 10 to 12 grand so keep that in mind with the tile and all linen closet in the back you got your water closet here with the door and then you can see here the full walk-in closet and it's a good size uh do i wish it was a little bit bigger yeah i would i would wish it was a little bit bigger this one but it's a good size you know you double rack it you can put some extra uh, shelves right here as well it's a good size it will, it will do well for two people but yeah i mean what do you guys think 2500 square feet three to four bedrooms option with a flex room 22 feet deep garage and you can turn it into a 24 feet deep garage so if you have one of those big trucks and you want to try to get your car in and um, in the garage then definitely this could be a great option because you can have that 24 feet deep garage and um yeah so if you guys are in the market to search for a home feel free to reach out to, to reach out to me i would love to represent you be a realtor and guide you throughout this whole process whether you're buying this one you need to negotiate on the price to get you the best deal possible um a realtor that is experienced with all these stuff uh, with all these new construction homes is is the right realtor for you and um and yeah so reach out to me all my information is down below in the description but i would say for this house low end you're going to be around 480 490 out the door upper end you can be at around 540 550 560 that's all upgraded so let me know what you guys think see you on the next video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching